Hi friends. Today I've got a story from D.B. Johnson. It's called Henry Climbs a Mountain. And this, this bear in this story is supposed to be the real person of Henry David Thoreau. And D.B. Johnson has written quite a few books about Henry. He turned Henry into a bear. And this story is from a time in his life, in Henry, Henry's life, where he ended up going to jail for not paying his taxes. And Henry David Thoreau wouldn't pay his taxes because the country was in a time when we still had slavery. And Thoreau said that he wasn't gonna pay taxes to a government that allowed slaves. And so he was put in jail. But let's see what happens with a little bit of Henry's imagination. Henry climbs a mountain. Henry wanted to climb a mountain, but he had only one shoe. His other shoe was at the shoemaker's being fixed. I'll get it on my way, he thought. But on his way to the shoemaker's shop, Henry was stopped by Sam, the tax collector. Henry, he said, you haven't paid your taxes. Pay a state that lets farmers own slaves? Never, said Henry. You'll have to pay or go to jail, Sam said. Then take me to jail, said Henry. And Sam did. The door slammed shut. Henry lay down on the bed and looked up at the white walls and the white ceiling. He put his bare foot against the wall. I wish I had my other shoe, Henry thought. He took crayons from his pocket and drew a shoe on the white wall. Beside the shoe, he drew a flower with a hummingbird on it. Next, Henry drew the tree the hummingbird lived in. Under the tree, he drew a path that crossed a river and climbed a mountain. Henry got his shoes wet. As he drew up the wall, he sang a song. The bear goes over the mountain, the bear goes over the mountain, the bear goes over the mountain to see what he could see. Henry climbed up waterfalls. He marched in and out of clouds. When it started to rain, Henry pulled his hat down and put on his coat. He drew a hawk soaring in the clouds on the ceiling. At the top of the mountain, Henry met a traveler coming up the other side. He was singing this song. The other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain will set me free at last. Henry and the traveler sat together on the mountaintop. They talked and they laughed and they sang more songs. You have no shoes, said Henry. Are you walking far? As far as the star in the north, the traveler said. That's a long way, said Henry. Take my shoes. The traveler put on Henry's shoes. He stood and waved. Thank you, friend, he called. Henry started back down the mountain. The path went down and up and down and over sharp rocks that hurt his feet. He tripped over tree roots and logs in the path. Ouch, said Henry. Once he caught his foot in a rabbit hole. Henry rolled down the last hill and splashed across a river. He had not slept all night. The sun was coming up when he stumbled into the small room. Just then the door opened. It was Sam. 
Someone has paid your taxes, Henry, Sam said. How does it feel to be free? Henry smiled. It feels like being on top of a very tall mountain, he said. And he walked to the shoemaker's shop to buy a new pair of shoes. So Henry did that whole journey from right there in that room, writing on the walls. Please don't write on the walls at home. But please do use your imagination like Henry used his imagination, thinking both about the world he would want to create and what he was willing to do to make that world happen, and also using his imagination to travel to some really amazing places. I hope you use your imagination today. Stay safe and take care. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.